Well, today I got kind of a little fun project. I'm switching out the carb from regular to dual fuel. So this way I can run propane or gas, actually natural gas too, but I mean, this isn't the generator, so that's not gonna happen. So, should be pretty easy to do. Basically same process as installing the new carburetor. Now, these are all 10 mil bolts. So, this kit was from HIPAA, it, it doesn't include gaskets, it's just carburetor and a choke lever uh, and I might have to you know use some of my own anyways so it's pretty much a direct replacement except this has the fuel shut off so I've got an extra piece of fuel tubing I'm gonna uh, install the shut off and go from there all right so pull that pull the throttle out I'm gonna get a pair of needle nose pliers. So it's kind of pulled out a bit. There it goes. The only thing being held on anymore is the gas line. And I did mess up because I filled this with gas recently. So that's why I have this. <laughs> set up and hopefully I don't make a giant mess everywhere, but we'll see. All right, squeezing the gas line. So let me finish that and then I'll turn the camera back on. All right, we got this installed. I'm gonna line these up because I prefer to have everything lined up. Just my taste. I'm leaving that one on in case I ever switch the carb back to the original. So we have Sometimes these springs are a bit pain. And they're so thin, you gotta be careful. So, all right, so that is good like that. I'm going to just leave it. Actually, no, I'm gonna cut it a bit. And then I'm gonna get another fuel connector. All right, I cut the fuel tubing a bit. And you know, I don't want any, any sharpness to it. All right, that one's too big. I'm gonna grab another one. All right, so for right now, it actually is flowing and it's flowing pretty decent. So I am just gonna leave that as is. Decided not to get a, a different on off valve. Uh, I changed the choke lever. So this is the original one that came with the motor. So now it's just a matter of Oh yeah, make sure you put that gasket back on. Get the choke lever. So I need to get a lot more fuel line 
remove that. That's what I'm going to do. But until I do that, it's going to be fine. And now, it's just a matter of putting the bolts back on. Put the wing nut on. And that's it. So now, this is all set to go. It is either propane or gas from the tank. So the on off is moved here, it's off. Now it's on, not choked, choked. So to start it, this, the throttle's here. Reset that. I just leave them off when I'm not in use. And then here is for the propane. So you pull that little protective cap off and then hook the hose up. Then you shut the fuel off on the side and then purge it. So that's pretty neat. So this motor now can run on you know, liquid propane, natural gas, or on gasoline. All right, thanks for watching.